Well, just minutes ago, federal prosecutors filed tear charges against a 29-year-old man accused of using a truck to attack pedestrians in New York City. The NYPD says that he admitted to doing it in the name of ISIS, and the FBI just announced that it's searching for a second man who may have information on the attack. Meg Oliver has more. New York City police recovered handwritten notes in Arabic from this mangled rental truck that was used in the deadly terrorist attack in Lower Manhattan. They say the suspect, 29-year-old Saifulo Saipov, bragged about his plan and praised ISIS. He appears to have followed um, almost exactly to a T the instructions that ISIS has put out. Investigators say the ISIS sympathizer drove down a bike path on the West Side Highway, mowing down everyone in his path for eight tenths of a mile until he crashed into a school bus packed with children. Police think Saipov had been planning the attack for weeks. My administration is coordinating closely between federal and local officials to investigate the attack and to further investigate this animal. Investigators are conducting a block by block search of this area to collect evidence and video to reconstruct the timeline. Streets will remain closed well into the night, but for people who live nearby, they say it's a minor inconvenience. A little bit scary, but that's not going to stop New Yorkers from riding you know, on that bike path at all. New York is more resilient than that. 28 year old New York City police officer Ryan Nash, who shot the suspect, is being called a humble hero. Ryan stopped that th threat immediately. Uh, we owe him a great debt of gratitude. CBS News has learned that Saipov came to the U.S. on a green card from Uzbekistan seven years ago. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Authorities say since 9-11, they have prevented two dozen plots against the city. Eight people were killed in yesterday's attack. Five of them were friends from Argentina who were celebrating their 30th high school reunion. Another was a Belgian woman who leaves behind two young children. Some of those who were injured include students and staff on a school bus that the suspect crashed into. Nine others remain in the hospital. Four of them are in critical condition.